and we had dug foxholes. The bombers came over. They started dropping the bombs. So me, I'm praying. Might have got up the next morning. Thank God, they dropped one side or the other in the ocean. I says, did I hear you fellows mumbling last night? Ah, oh, what are you talking about, Sarge? Well, I don't know. I know I was saying my prayers. I says, it sounded like somebody was mumbling and the two foxholes next to me. They walked away from me. You know. And I says, well, I says, I think we don't have any atheists in the foxholes. There wasn't a building left. Everything was just leveled, leveled. I couldn't believe a bomb could do that. The Japanese, at the time they came out, their face were just like raw meat, their arms and so forth. The blast was so hot that it burned them. You should have seen them. I, I, I was surprised what happened, you know, that a bomb could do that. After the war, I, uh, I didn't have any civilian clothes. So the best store in town was Hirsch's Men's Shop. So I went in there, bought a few clothes and so forth and so on. And this gentleman, Mr. Hirsch, that owned the store, came up to me. He knew I was a veteran because I was talking, I guess, about the war and so forth and so on. And uh, he says, how would you like to come in and help me out? I, I took the job. So I learned the business. I figured, if I can do this for Mr. Hirsch, I think I can do it for myself. I came to Lines in New York, bought an old store, a hundred year old store, named it Domenico's Clothiers. And I was very successful, thank God for that. I think that the good Lord was on our shoulders all the time. Every once in a while we got a Catholic priest and we hiked to wherever he was to go to church in the jungles. You don't know, you don't realize what it means until, you know, as a kid, I'm just a kid, what, 20 some years old. So the experience I had made a man out of me before I became a man. I'm hoping that God will give me a few more years. I'd love to reach a hundred. <laughs> I'd like to live four more years and see what it is to change the century and so forth and so on. I'd love to see that. The things that happened to me and men like myself that are very fortunate to be here today. We don't realize it till we get older, what it's about. As I grew and got into business, met wonderful people and so forth and so on. It's great to be alive. And today I thank God every day that I get out of bed. Every day I thank Him.